a little tour of the sewing room. Uh, it's finally halfway clean, so I thought I'd make a video while it's clean and not a mess like normal. This is um, a cutting table that I put this really nice mat it's from Amazon. It's a self-healing mat. I've had it for probably a couple of years or more, and my husband got this piece of plywood and we painted it like a, a gloss white and then we attached the shelving units I think they're from Menards to hold like patterns stabilizers interfacing just little crafts and things like that uh, things that I need and then I put these command hooks for my scissors and these uh, little shelving units are on wheels so I can move it around and I just put this uh, entertainment center I had my serger on before and now that I have the new table I don't need it so I put it under here and put all my my bolts of fabric and like um, towels that I embroider on and things like that and then there's rulers there's another cutting mat some rulers the rotary cutters are in there and pens pins things that i use a lot i keep up here and then the dress form oh, on this side is more storage I keep embroidery floss things like that over here and then a lot of my fabric is in here and i used comic book boards Leave these for. I used yeah, these comic book boards. They're pretty thin, but I can wrap fabric on it and store it in this little cabinet. Here's my new table. The legs are fully out. Once you put them in, this folds down. I can cut on here with scissors, not on with my rotary cutter, of course. And then my serger goes here. And underneath there's storage. It's nice storage in here. Pull out the drawer. And then I've had this table a long time since I was first married. So probably at least 38 years. And then my trusty old sewing machine that I absolutely love and then I keep all my sewing feet in here and my clips of course I have a radio I can put my phone to and then I keep um, just different things and tins in there because my grandfather made that little cabinet and then this little storage unit holds my thread and it, it's on wheels so I can put different things in here and turn it around I get stuff on the other side my ribbons and my fat quarters are in there and then this is my embroidery machine the PE 800 which is awesome I'm working on this right now this little vintage squirrel pattern and then I keep my thread, embroidery thread in here and up there. And then I have my designs and folders. And then Daisy has to have her little bed in here. So this desk is really nice to keep all that in. And then my bird puzzle pictures that are framed. And then an ironing board. And I like my... Oliso iron, I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. And then this little cart I got at Target a while ago. Keep my spray starches and other irons. And then this is my closet with some storage for pillow forms, fabrics. I'm gonna put some um, embroidery on these, make little burp cloths out of these type cloth diapers. And then onesies, I do embroidery on those. And that's the closet, and then these are all bolts of fabric. This I store a lot of, um, like.
like stabilizers and interfacing, just different things in there. And that's my sewing room.